Skadoosh! Welcome back to the channel, ninjas. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. Something just ridiculous. Cassius Marsh uh, sent me something just ridiculous. Didn't think this would happen. You guys know how sometimes I do uh, little contests on the channel and whatnot. Well, I decided to enter one on Instagram, and it just so happened to be uh, Cassius Marsh. For those of you who don't know who that is, he is a professional football player for the Seattle Seahawks. Plays defensive end. And uh, I ended up winning. I know. It's, it's, it's crazy sauce, man. Uh, he had no idea who I was. I don't blame him. He's a big deal. But I ended up winning something, and I'm going to share that with you guys. You won't believe what I pull out of here. Um, in the meanwhile, let's get to cracking open this War of the Spark Booster Box. Hopefully we get some nasty pulls out of here. What's your best pull so far, my ninjas? Did you pull something crazy? Did you get that foil bolus? Did you get the foil tefri? What or oh, what have you pulled out of this? I'd love to hear your story, man. Uh, but let's get to cracking, Captain, shall we? Starting off with Evolution Sage. Not bad. The Rolesk Apex Hybrid. I still have hope in that card. I don't know. Um, I think it's still teetering around like the three, four dollar mark, but I can't be too certain. But man, I'm really pumped uh, to open this and share it with all of you. It is just something really cool. Jace, a wielder of mysteries. Not bad, my friend. So we're off to a pretty good start. Um, a lot of you might say, oh, that Apex, though. That's not really a good mythic. Well, I think down the road it's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be a phenomenal mythic, but that has yet to be determined just uh, just yet. Uh, Karn's Basin, nice. We will take it. We are really off and running. Um, pretty good pull so far, I gotta say. Can we get something just ridiculous? I don't know. Prison Realm, there you go. Uh, yeah, that goes in the uncommon pile. Neoform with Tefiri. How do you guys say it? Tefiri or Tefri? You tell me. And Obnixless Cruelty. Wow. Box is lit. Box is lit. Probably one of the best sets in a long time is War of the Spark, I must say. It's got to be one of the best sets in a long time. Hot Lays Raptor. Get a load of that, man. Good old Jurassic Park. Gideon Blackblade. Gideon, you show up in every video. You just never fail to amaze me. Um, this is really good. I already got two Mythics. One really, really freaking amazing. Can we keep that fire going, though, baby? Mayhem Devil up in the piece. Cyclops Devouring. Karn the Great Creator. Get off me, man. This box is just on fire. I would spend a little more time going over the cards, but I think a lot of us already know what's all inside. Um, I may pause for station identification on occasion, but not really too much. Rally of Wings. Young Time Wipe. Great removal, my friends. Great removal in the right colors. You know what's um, a little disappointing? I think they did it on purpose, but in standard... Grixis really doesn't have a phenomenal uh, board wipe. I mean, nothing just, you know, takes care of all the creatures. Um, they come close with a couple things, uh, like the four drop, where, uh, ooh, nice, Elder Spell, great card. Uh, the four drop that destroys all creatures with converted mana cost three or less. That's like the best, I'd say, board wipe they got right now in the current standard. But I think they did that on purpose because right now Grixis is really, really powerful. If you haven't seen the decks I made on it yet, go back a couple videos and check them out. Tomic Distinguished Advocate. Nice, nice, nice. Favorite artwork? Uh, my favorite artwork. I got a lot. Lightning Dragon, though, for sure. Uh, Bleeding Edge, all up in here. Come on. The Interplanner Beacon. There you go. Tabalt and Silent Submersible. Still a little off about that card. I don't think it's seeing a whole lot of play. Uh, at least not in main decks. I mean, have you run the Silent Submersible yet? What deck have you ran it in? Has it been successful? That's another good question. Davahanna Control. Ravnica at War. And White just has every single removal there is. It's just redonkulous. Sky Feeder Strix. Nice. That's like an owl. It's an owl. They call it a bird, but really it's like it's like a bird. I mean, I don't know if Wizards is aware of that, that it's an owl. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's probably Superman. That's probably what it is. Uh, Death Sprout. Dread Gleaming. Soren Vengeful Bloodlord. Not bad. Casualties of War Foil. That's a sweet sauce right there. Nice. Choose one or more. Destroy target artifact, creature, enchantment, land, planeswalker. If your opponent has all of those on the board, you are just going to annihilate them because it's one or more. You pay six, but just imagine if they had one of each. Uh, you are in favor to win that matchup, my friend, I must say. 
Even if you get to use like four of those on there, three of them. I think two or less, it just might not be worth it at the casting cost. But then again, it depends on what exactly is out. Vraska, roll reversal. Almost forgot this card was even in here. Exchange control of two target permanents that share a permanent type. Almost forgot that existed. If that thing couldn't be countered, I think it'd be a great card. It would be a great card, but I just, you know, it just, it can be countered, man. It could be countered. They should have given it a little more oomph, maybe, but then it'd probably be too powerful. Samut, Casualties of War, the non-foil. Fantastic. Oh, great card, too. Mau Loyal Companion. Trample and Vigilance. If one or more plus one plus one counters will be put on Mau Loyal champ Companion. I said champion. <laughs> that many plus, uh, that many plus one plus one plus one counters are put on it instead. That can get a little out of control. This box is definitely, uh, like, it's, it's, it's fire. This box is probably one of the better ones so far, and we're only like a few packs in. I think we're like, we got more than half left. Nuts. Living Twister. This kind of had like a, a high hopes and then kind of fell off a little bit. Rails Outburst, but I mean in the right deck, of course. I think outside of Standard is where Living Twister is really going to shine. In Standard, I don't think it's all there yet. I could be wrong. I could be overlooking a deck or something. I really could be. God Pharaoh's Arlene. God, wow. Even the lands, the lands are just doing us good, man. Lands will make cut day. They are just tearing it up left and right. Holy smokes. I went out today, had a little bit of fun, I must say. Uh, went to the Metro Parks and pulled a Niv-Mizzet Reborn. Their shambles, not bad. Is that card bent? No, it's not. Oof, maybe just I am. Martyr for the Cause Foil. And uh, it's just breathtaking. Like, if you can get out and enjoy uh, your day every now and then by all means do it life is short guys uh tomorrow's never promised but i took in the scenery with a friend and it was a uh, it was an enjoyable experience ral storm can do it's probably one of my favorite places to go it's uh the nature center in cleveland uh ohio or like rocky river i guess you could say it's in rocky river but just breathtaking sights and scenery I took a couple photos it's really nice man Davin's Veto, Hot Lay, Enter the God Eternals. It's like almost every single rare or uh, mythic in this box has been really good so far. Almost. Almost. I can't say all of them, but I can say a lot of them. This is just cool. Cruel Celebrant. Nice. Pledge. Narset. The Fibboth. The good old Fibboth. Look at this dude's so lost, man. He's so lost. You can find him in like a Goodwill donation box. Lost. Yeah, that's, that's where he's going to be. Yeah, I think. Maybe. Could be wrong, but I doubt it. We got Invade the City. Liliana's Triumph. Still bringing in a few uh, pennies there. Sahili, nice. Parhelion 2. This card is just the ultimate bulk. But it's really fun to play with. I think I should make a deck around that just for like craps and giggles, you know? Craps and giggles and uh, Elmo tickles. That's kind of weird now after everything. Uh, Prison Realm. Gleamer. The Wanderer. Narset's Reversal. Fun card. Fun card to play. Hard indeed. Man, this thing's gonna swallow hard. Can you imagine? <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, calm down, calm down. Hey, calm down. No, we can never call. Merfolk Skydiver, a pretty cool card also. And this is Triumph with Vivian following. Vivian's seen a lot of play. That's another pretty hot card right now in uh, the current standard. I can't recall the price on a lot of these, but I do know um, some of the less desirable Planeswalkers that in the beginning definitely went up in value. A lot of these Planeswalkers are just really doing great. Ajani, Rally, Nahiri, Oath of Kaya, one card that did drastically go down in price. It's Oath of Kaya. Almost a bulk rare at this point. I know. I understand. I understand. Also doing it a ghost hunt tonight. I know. That's insane. That's what's going down now. Kiora, Dreadhorde, Invasion. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, maybe we'll catch something on camera. Maybe we won't. I don't know. But I'll definitely share uh, with you guys what happens uh, in an upcoming video. Bleeding Edge, Flux Channeler, Samut, Bolus's Citadel. Not bad. With a foil island. There we go. We will take that. Foil island. Where's uh, all the crazy hits at, though? Uh, Gideon is definitely a crazy hit now. It wasn't in the beginning, but now he just he really stepped it up. And I cannot stop pulling Gideon. I don't know about you guys, but Gideon just keeps finding his way to me. Feather the Redeemed. A great card. Commander everywhere. Love it. Commanders everywhere. Love it. Uh, I think it's good, but... 
I don't know. I think it went down in value, though, actually. D Spark, great removal. Don't underestimate it. Grateful. And Ugin the Ineffable. I feel like I had a box very similar to this one. Just, like, full of awesomeness, man. And this is a very powerful card, nonetheless, is that Ugin. Plain White Celebration. If you get one foil rare, you get two foil rares. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. I swear. I kid you not. I kid you not. I think I need to put together some fun little jank that's, uh, that gets obnoxious and is broken once you get the combo out. We'll see how it pans out. Blast Zone. Yes, we didn't pull the less sought after ones. We pulled the better lands. That Blast Zone is really taking off as well. If you got them, hang on to them, guys. Hang on to them. I know they're about to probably do another print run here. I haven't heard much. If you guys have heard anything about a second print run on War of the Spark, by all means, clue me in, please. Second Jace, Wielder of Mystery. So that's our duplicate rare. These boxes are, like, parallel, I swear. They run parallel. I, I, I've pulled or opened boxes of extremely similar to these, or extremely similar to this one already. Um, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I think that's just the first one, maybe. Eternal, God Pharaohs, Yaya, and Massacre Girl. Human Assassin. Watch out. You guys have been asking me to make a deck around uh, Massacre Girl. Maybe I think it's time we do. I think it's time we do. I don't see why not. I think it'd be pretty cool. Oh, man. What do you see with Cash is sent? It is nuts. Domri's Invade, Davin, the Raised Boar. That's a big old skadink, skadink, skadoosh. Nice pool. Nice pool. Mythics have been great. But then again, you almost can't go wrong with the Mythic slot. I mean, I think the what? The niv Mizzet is probably the least valuable. Is that the least valuable in the set? Someone let me know. I think I think Niv is the least valuable in the whole set. Ashiok's great. Oh my god! And again, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> god Eternal Rona is showing up right after another god. This has been just an insane Mythic box. We are missing out on the huge hits, but oh my god. This box is insane, man. To Bolt, Rager, all up in it. Bond, Young, another time wipe. So there's our repeat. Cannot complain about that at all, my friend. No complaints from me at all. What's next up in here? Leyline Prowler, Tyrants, Interplanner, and Starcan the Masterless. I think this one ticked up a tiny bit. With Blind Blast. You know what I haven't pulled is a case hit. I don't think we pulled the case hit, but I think a sign if you pull. Two rare foils, I don't think you're guaranteed. <laughs> I think you are out of the running for a case hit. Case hit's a mythic foil, by the way. Storm the Citadel, Bond, Narset, Cranko, Tin Street, Kingpin, with a Chandra's Triumph foil to close it out. How many mythics was that? That seemed like a lot, didn't it? That's God times two. Okay, Jace, Blast, Ugin. Man, some of these could, could have been mythics. They really could have been. Um, enter Niv. Maybe we didn't get as many as I thought. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe. Maybe. Probably. Elder Spell, Time Wipe, Karn, Gideon. Okay, so I think we got five. And the Rolex Apex Hybrid. We call them Rolex, man. Rolex over there. So there's the Mythics right there. Five. What is up with that? Get off me. Don't touch me. Get off me. Not bad. Um, wait till you see this. Oh, that is not what we wanted to show. My bad. Uh, wrong one. Oh, what's the doodle? Probably have to do an edit on that. Uh, bam! From Seattle Seahawks. All up in this. From Seattle Seahawks from Cassius Marsh. This is nuts. I just answered like a question at random um, on, his, uh, on his thing. That was really it. Holy smokes, baby. Bam! Get a load of this. Canopy Vista. It's got my shipping information on there, too. Can we open this up? Can we open this up? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. This is nuts. This is nuts. Cassius, appreciate it, man. I wish you all the luck this year. Uh, for sure. In the NFL, baby. Canopy Vista. Send me an expedition. And all I had to do was just like, I think he just wanted you to tag people and answer a question. Very, very cool, man. I'm really hyped about that. I love NFL. I love football. So knowing that a professional athlete sent this my way is really, really cool. Plus, he's a big deal in the Magic community. If you guys haven't seen him on Command Zone, just look it up. Cassius Marsh. Um, yeah, he, um, they, they like using him on there. And uh, for good reasons. He's entertaining to watch. Awesome Canopy Vista. Thank you, Cassius Marsh. And thank you, everyone out there who makes this channel possible. I appreciate you guys. I couldn't do what I do without you. I love you.
Skadink, skadink, skadonk. <laughs>